I can hardly believe it. I'm just working on this old hillside on the park. And I've got nothing. I'm telling you, man, nothing. I got this 20. Look at that. I think that says 1900 even. And look, it was like barely even in the dirt. You can see it's kind of on a little trail though where people used to walk, I guess. Crazy. Well, there we go. 1900 even. Okay. Looks like I got me an old license plate from Cal Spell. Awesome. Looks like 19, 1950. Hey, looks like I got me a relic. Look at that. It's got to be like an old, what, like pepper shaker, cell shaker, something like that. Man, those holes are teeny, though. Man, that's fancy. Look at that lid. Awesome. I can't believe this, I think. I don't know, but I think this might be another Indian. Nope. Zinc penny. <laughs> They ring just like an Indian, though. Same trail. Well, there's some sort of buckle or something. I don't know. Maybe a part. But there's stuff in here. Just gotta wade through the mess. I just flipped out another penny. What do we got? One cent. Okay, so that time it's a weedy. Not too bad. Let's see if I can get a date and turn it back on. Okay, 1934D is what I think it is. Awesome. I got a little more time. Let's keep going. You know, I see something in here. What is that? Well, I don't know. Just a pendant? As a... What's in the middle? Three, I think? A three? Let me see if I can get anything else off of this sucker. I think that's it, but... Tell somebody tells me different, I guess I'm gonna call that jewelry. <laughs> so, we got a relic, we got some jewelry, Indian, weedy. Hey, this is turning out to be not too bad of a little hunt. It's just a couple hours in the evening. This is kind of a Hail Mary spot too. Hey, check that out, I got me a bird band. It says sour, sour wine. Route 2, number 383. <laughs> I always got this fishing lure blade on the side of this hill. There's no fishing right here. Looks like I got me some paraphernalia. Man, we're just hitting the gamut tonight. A little everything. Hey, I think I got me a button. Old four hole. Huh. Wow. All right. Well, I just got me a clad penny, but right next to it was this broken buckle. All right. I got me a little clip. How cool is that? It says Paris on it. Or I guess it's part of a buckle, probably. I don't know. Awesome. See what else we can get. So this isn't even in the ground. Somebody's knife. I'm sure it's not too old. Sheffield. Sheffield stainless steel. Oh, look it up. I'm sure it's not that old though. We got some sort of coin. I'm not sure ringing weird. What is it? 
Is it weedy? Yeah, that's exactly what that's gonna be. Weedy. Well, looks like we got another clip. This is working out pretty good, this hill here. Hopefully we can get in a really old coin or a token or something. It says stainless steel, unfortunately. That just kind of looks pretty old. I don't know how old. Huh. Old wind-up. Yeah. Very cool. Okay, I got another weedy. I don't think I'm going to be able to get a date. At least not right now. So we're getting some stuff. I mean, other than that one really old uh, Indian head penny. I'm not getting anything too old off this hill, but I have faith. There's a lot of old stuff around here. We'll see. All right, we're just killing the weedies today on this hill. I think it's a, it's a 30s wheat penny. Couldn't read the exact date, but let's keep going. Well, guys, unfortunately, I left my GoPro on the counter after putting a brand new battery in it. When I got to the metal detecting spot, which is like an hour away, I finally realized it. So, sorry for some of the bad camera work that's coming up. Um, yeah, that's all I can say. I was using my cell phone, and it was just terrible. But what's the most disappointing is, for some reason, I don't have the footage of me pulling the next coin out of the ground. And it's such an awesome coin. I wish I would have had that. I got this coin on edge. And it was like eight, nine inches. And when I popped it up, it just kind of showed itself for a second. And then whoosh, right back down and <laughs> buried itself. So I didn't know what it was. I saw it was a big silver coin. I thought it was a half dollar. That's my initial reaction. So you missed all that. And then of course me pulling it out of the ground, which is unfortunate because I was pretty excited. To be honest guys, I thought it was only gonna be a, a half. You know what? I'm trying to hold my cell phone. I'll have my GoPro at home because I'm dumb. Let me wash this up and then I'll, I'll show you guys. That is beautiful. This is actually my second Morgan this year, believe it or not. Crazy. Does it have a mint mark? Not really seeing the mint mark, but whoa, beautiful. So I was just going to go drop this Morgan off of the truck with all my junk, get some water. Right up by the road, I just pulled a Canadian Larch. Sent 1909. Sounded just like a zinc penny. It's awesome, man. So look at this killer cap gun I found. It says pirate. But look, it was a double barrel. <laughs> I never dug one like that before. That's super amazing. That's old looking. Awesome. Man, what a great hunt this has turned out to be. Yeah, it looks like I got me a button in here somewhere. There it is. Let's see if it says anything. Yeah, I don't see anything right off, but man, we're getting into it. Let's keep going. I can't even believe how well this hunt is going. Look at that. It just got me an old. It just got me an old brass ring. Awesome. Got some fancy on the side. So this is coming up a 13. Sounded real good. Uh, come on, be something. I can't tell. All right. I gotta see what else is around here. That's kind of funny. Strolling through the woods. <laughs> Just come across that. Man, <clears throat> man, this hill just keeps on giving. 
It's a lot of work. Man. Steep. And I think I've had this one before. Let's see. Yeah, it says Paris. Oh, get in the camera, guys. It says Paris, and I think it has like a patent date on there, too. Awesome. And then practically the exact same hole as that clip. There's a little button. What does it say? I think it also says Paris. <laughs> now that is something I've never dug. I've dug the neckerchiefs before. Look at that. Cub Scout belt. Belt buckle, I guess. Nice. Wow, this hunt is so amazing. <laughs> Look at this comb I just got. It's got fancy on it. I don't know what it's made out of. I feel like it might be... I don't know. I mean, a ring is a high tone. It's crazy. I don't know. Aluminum, maybe? It's weird. So here I am in the bushes. I get a nice tone. Look at that. Whoa. What do you think, guys? I think it says something. Yeah, pretty sure that says 925, baby.